think about uh, responsibility or something like that. Just first of all, because I didn't know Scam at the time, either the original one or the French one. I knew nothing. Like, uh, so sorry. I saw one. Yeah, one scene. The the bathroom scene. His bathroom scene. With the paper stuff. And I was like, I'm not gonna play it like this. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> No, it was cool. It was a cool moment. <laughs> After. <laughs> um, what was I saying? <laughs> yes. Uh, no, I, I, I didn't uh, think about the responsibility because, yeah, I, I didn't know the show. I didn't know the impact of the show. And I never heard about season one and two in France because it was, it was um, more quiet than hmm. season three. Um, yeah. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, no, but uh, I, I think you don't have like to take responsibility because when you have a, a script like this, when you have a character uh, as beautiful as Elliot was written, uh, you just want to portray it and you just put all your work to to live his life, to live the story, and I think it's. Um, okay, <laughs> how am I going to say that? No, because in my head it's very cl clear, but <laughs> uh, I think the impact come uh, that the fact, uh, from the fact that uh, we didn't think about the impact. We just portrayed like a character, his life, uh, his pain, his love, like everything he goes through and if you put like your body and soul in it for like three or four months and you you just you just don't think about what's going on like uh, from the audience or everything if you play for the audience you don't play well and you don't you just do like uh, some fan service you know and it's not what you want you just want to to create a character to give him life and I think it's the most important part and people people um, see that and they feel that if you did it well and I think that's why, why like we put like so much love in your character that it touches people and I think that's why it gave us responsibility but afterwards like after the shooting when it came out you know the struggling of uh, being an actor I don't know <laughs> No, but, uh, that's a very personal question. I'm sorry. No, but it's, uh, I would say, share what you're comfortable with, and if you're not comfortable, you don't need to share. Oh, yeah, but it's, uh, it's something, it's a very interesting question. It's something uh, probably everybody should do, like, uh, think about their life. What would it be like in Scotland? Uh, We've done that. But I don't know. It's very hard. Um, but everybody's got their struggles, so uh, that's something that's so cool about Scum is they really zoom in on our, our everyday life and make the small things very big. And uh, in a way that's how we feel it, but from the outside it looks like nothing. So, I don't know, but it's a very good question. Yeah. Did you have something? Oh. <laughs> you want to go first? Um, the... <laughs> Such competence. Um, addiction. That's it. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we would have to pay for that. <laughs> Yeah, kind of the same. Also, addiction and uh, the, the art of not going to school, probably. <laughs> yeah. And it's, yeah, everything was calculated. We, we didn't even notice when we shot the, the scene, but uh, when, when, when I saw the episode, I was like, okay, they, they really did a great job. Like, the post production and David and all the. All the, the creative team, it was very important. It was 
Yes. Oh. If you would like to. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, of course, Helga Nat. Uh. Is that a single one to the... No. no. Okay. It's, uh, it's powerful. With uh, Nils Beck uh, putting an audio on the thing. I don't know anything about audio. <laughs> no, but that was uh, special. Uh, definitely. So. E per Eric è l'episodio di Oel Ganat, quindi il 9, eh, in cui secondo lui è una scena molto potente. So my name is Esther, I'm from Germany and I wanted to ask... So... I, I don't even know how to say it, you know, it's like... Dynamic. Di dynamic, complex. Complex is a better word, but... I, I think there is no word like to say it. it, it I was just, just like so happy to... So, like afraid, of course. <laughs> But uh, so happy to have the opportunity to portray someone like that, and uh, I, I, I was like, okay, so uh, you, you have to, you have to do that with the like the, the most respect that you have, like uh, the you have to respect this this young man, like you will, I, I don't know, like nothing else, you know. It was like I, 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 I saw him like. It, and, and, and it was here, it, that's the crazy part of it, because I read the script once in Korea and I never read it again. It means I, I, at the moment I read it, I understood the story, I understood the character, and I was like, okay, I just need to become this person, and it's gonna be a long work, but I never read the script because, like you, we were free in the text, and that's what was cool with uh, the Scam uh, front season 3, because the, the season 1 and 2, well, like, we had like to to do exactly the same. And in season three, we were very free in the, in the text, in the scene, we, we, we could like improvise and stuff. So we, we yeah, I lost my, myself, but it was amazing. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> we had like six hours left to have the, this scene. And uh, so we played it like, um, you know, sometimes in, in uh, TV shows or movies, you, you play the end before the beginning or stuff like that. But this one, David was like, the director was like, no, we have to do this one, like, uh, chronology. chronological. Chronological. Thank you. <laughs> um, so I arrived and we, we couldn't shoot it twice because with all the painting and stuff, it was too long to shoot it, like, a lot of time, even the, the, the painting battle and stuff. So we shot, like, the three or four sentences we say before many times, and then we started, like, with the painting, and then it was, like, one shot only. And for, like, the sex scene with all the painting... Um, so, they covered all the room with plastic. It was, like, Breaking Bad. It was crazy. <laughs> like, the cameraman has, uh, like, all the... the the, the, the team were like covered in like this chemical, uh, chemist um, suits, you know? And they had like the camera with like plastic stuff every, everywhere and stuff. And I was with uh, Axel, uh, so we, uh, yeah, with Axel. And uh, so we, we, and then our director was like, okay, so I'm gonna put the music. And it's not the music that they put on the episode, it was another one. Which one? It was a song called Dreamer by oh, yeah. Clark something, a DJ. And I was so sad because I, I listened to it like for three months after the shooting and then they changed it and I was like, fuck off. We worked, we worked like we made love on this music. We made love to this music and you changed it. You can't do that. But for, never mind. And then they just, it just say like action and he let us make out for like 30 minutes. And for the little facts, like a funny fact, is that it's our director that uh, removed our clothes. <laughs> like we were making out, uh, like uh, against the wall, and at some point he said, "Okay, remove everything, get naked." And we were like so connected with Axel at this point that nothing uh, existed like uh, around us, so we couldn't like hear him. Uh, so he came and he like removed our pants and shit. <laughs> 
So yeah, no, it, it, it was just like improvisation. <laughs> Uh, on choisit pas de qui on tombe amoureux. Yeah. We don't choose from who we fall in love with. It doesn't mean anything. We don't choose who we oh, fall in love with. Who? Yeah. Yeah. Hers. Hers. Euh, toutes les couleurs euh, qui se mélangent, c'est le symbole de nos différences. Ah. You don't need a translation for that. <laughs> you all know the TV show. <laughs> We have rights, and if nobody does it for us, um, who will? Yeah. Like the. I see it a lot actually. I see this one three times, I think. <laughs> That's a lot <laughs> for a line. That's a lot. Lace, Lace is actually Lace. thinking. You know, if there were <laughs> subtitles, you'd be like, thinking. <laughs> like in a. In a like, <laughs> what's on his mind? Wait. <gasps> <laughs> okay, that was funny. <laughs> okay. Il y a de l'amour partout, il suffit de le trouver. Hein C'est de qui ça C'est David Oleg. C'est David Qui dit ça C'est dans ce cas. C'est David C'est David qui l'a dit. David qui l'a dit, c'est pas dans la série, mais ça fait partie de ce cas, bref. Ouais, ouais, ouais. Voilà, bon. ouais, ouais, ouais. Dites-moi. Ouais, grave Loula Vous êtes moins bon que moi, ça. Ah, j'ai levé toute la salle de bim bim. When will you realize, baby, you're worth it? You don't have to do anything to earn it. Baby, you're perfect. You deserve it. When will you see what I see and realize you're worth it? Okay, can I change the song then? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say uh, my favorite song then. Uh, Boomerang from Serge Gainsbourg. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, okay. I have to start on my own. Je sens des boum et des bangs, agiter mon cœur blessé. L'amour comme un boomerang me revient des jours passés. À pleurer comme une dingue, prête pour toi à me donner. J'ai parlé avec eux pendant trois heures, j'en ai raconté ma vie, genre, euh, euh, je leur ai expliqué ce que j'avais vécu, etc. Euh, et ils avaient vraiment cette volonté de faire les choses bien et de ne pas faire de la merde. Vraiment, et d'être plus proche de la vérité, exactement. Et du coup, euh, euh, ils ont totalement adapté euh, bah, la, les saisons, et même par rapport à tous nos personnages. Genre, on a tous un petit truc, un petit côté... Euh, <rire> on a tous un petit côté enfin, de, de nous qu'ils ont repris dans, dans nos personnages et voilà c'est ça qui enfin, ouais, c'est très fort. So for season four for Iman, 